Happy Sunday fun day, everybody. Here we are again, another episode of Cooking with Dave, the Chicago hubby. Today is going to be uh, something different, something really easy and really, really delicious. I'm going to be making a, what I guess what I call a Kahlua banana nice cream. Because um, it's, it's an ice cream, but no uh, dairy, I guess, that, other than, yeah, no dairy. Um, so it's really, really simple. Um, now the bananas look a little sketchy because I have, they, they smell really good. But I had them, I had them froze, the, you, you put, so the first step is you need three bananas to cut up and you put in the freezer um, when you're ready to, at least four hours or until you're ready. Apparently four hours means four days in this, in this case. Uh, I, I froze them last week with the intention of making the video days ago, but laziness happens and, and whatever. Anyway, so it's three bananas frozen for four hours. That's your first step. Once that's done, take them out of the refrigerator, put them in the old Cuisinart. And I hope they aren't too frozen. You will find out. This could go weird. Let me just... I would definitely would recommend uh, trying to do it at least the next day. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so you want it to kind of be smooth. It's getting there. Again, it was I've done it before, and I actually did it after the four hours. It turned out so amazing. Okay. So, I'm going to, well, it looks a little interesting, folks, but I'm not going to worry quite yet. I'm going to just sort of scrape the edges off here quick, put it on there one last time, smooth it out. Well, it's gonna be interesting. I think. Okay, I'm just gonna break up some of the like chunky ones that were in here. Okay, it's getting there. Um, this process will definitely be a lot smoother for you if you do it after the four hours right away. Well, I'm just gonna, we're gonna, this is done, this part. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, so after you get it down to a sort of a smooth, smooth banana mix, you're going to go ahead and, and I use um, Kahlua in most of my recipes um, that call for like vanilla or whatnot, but you definitely, if you don't like to drink Kahlua or don't drink liquor or whatever, I mean, it's Sunday fun day. I wouldn't encourage anything but Kahlua. However, I will not judge you if you use vanilla. Uh, the way, it's two teaspoons of your preferred, um, I guess, liqueur or non-liqueur. If a little extra gets in there, I mean, it wouldn't hurt necessarily. It is Sunday. So I'll just put a little, a little extra scotch in there. All right, so you, now you've got three frozen bananas, two, <laughs> two teaspoons of Kahlua or vanilla, and then you're putting a quarter cup of uh, cocoa powder. Okay. Now let's see what happens. You want it to smooth out again, of course. These bananas are really hard. I hope I get a finished product to show you guys. Otherwise, try it yourself and then comment below uh, how yours turned out. But it's so good when it works. Okay, let's see. Oh, Lord, John. 
we're getting there. Oh my god. Okay, no, no, I mean, it's, it's going in the right direction. It's, it's, it's definitely going in the right direction. I'm just going to help it along a little bit and squish it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ideally, it's gonna look like a, like a yogurt. It's gonna look really nice and smooth. Now it's looking like an ice cream ball. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I'm gonna spread it out and help it along. I'm gonna add the last ingredient that will probably help it. I'm gonna try and show you this. Um, oh, the last time I didn't do it properly, so I don't know if I'm gonna hope I'm doing it. I hope you're seeing it. If you're seeing it. Okay, so this is kind of how it's gonna look. Um, but this will be smoother if they weren't as frozen. But you get the you get the idea. Alright. Alright, so the last ingredient is a half cup of cold coffee. Cold coffee and or cold brew. I didn't really feel like making cold brew. It's just quite the process that I just, it's been a day. And I didn't want to make cold brew. So I'm using cold coffee that I made last night. Quarter cup of cold coffee. All right. This now should do the trick. Yeah. Making really weird noises. Oh yeah. I see you. Okay. All right. Oh yes. This is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh my gosh, okay. I hope I'm doing it right. This is, this is how it should look. It is beautiful. It's the consistency of an ice cream, absolutely. Oh my gosh. All right, so, got that done. I'm gonna scrape it into one of, a little, uh, like a loaf pan. I'm telling you, once you once you successfully make this, you are not gonna want to eat ice cream. I swear you're not going to. This is so amazing. And if you have like any kind of like dairy issue, I mean this is definitely a great alternative. I'm not supposed to really eat dairy. So this definitely Clearly I eat dairy still. But this is really nice. Alternative. Um, I I don't know waste any of this. Hold on. All right. I did try, and it's on my blog, um, ChicagoHubby.com. Please check it out, ChicagoHubby.com. Um, there is also a, a version I tried with. Um, it was watermelon uh, and bananas. Yeah, it was weird. It was, it was it was good. Like I definitely we ate the whole pan. It was good. Uh, the recipe is on the blog um, to try it out because it definitely it definitely was. It's better than ice cream, I feel like. But it was just a little different. I don't think the watermelon was in that case frozen long enough. So it was a little funky. But anyway, I'm just gonna scrape this into the pan then. Ooh, yes. Mm -mm. And this is also, I think this is something fun that you could do if you had children or if you had like younger nephews and nieces. You could do that with them. It's an easy, kind of a fun, a fun thing to make. Um, you could definitely bring it along to any kind of a party, party to pass along in the summertime. It's nice and refreshing. Okay, get every last bit out of there. Mmm, so good. 
Remember when you were a kid and you, wanted to lick the, you always wanted to lick the spoons? And you fought to lick the spoons with your siblings? It's great being an adult. I can lick the spoon whenever I want. I won't lick the spoon now, but I will do maybe a little bit of this. Oh yeah. Come on now. Come on. All right. Last step is just, in fact, it's not uh, required, but I like to just sprinkle a little bit of these chocolate chips on there. Just on top to give it a cute little garnish. I also thought that it would be kind of fun to maybe next time, I froze all my bananas, so it won't work this time. But I thought next time it would be kind of cool to put like little bananas on top of it as well. So hopefully I'm doing this right. If I'm not doing it right, it'll be on the blog. Um, ChicagoHubby.com. It'll also be on my Instagram, Chicago Hubby. Um, yeah, so that's it. This is my Kahlua chocolate banana nice cream. All right, make sure you like, thumbs up, and please subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I almost forgot. Um, you have to put this, you have to freeze it now. For four hours, all right. Um, of course, this, this can go longer. This can be longer than four hours, but at least four hours. All right, we'll see you next week.